This is your time to ask questions of our distinguished guests on the dais. If you raise your hands, my colleagues will hand you a mic. Please identify yourself first and then ask your question. I know we would like many questions answered, but for now, please keep your questions on the topic of hepatitis only. Thank you. Amit ji, uh, Alok here, up ke samne. Main camera mein aunga, isle mein baitha. Amit ji, uh, sawal mera hai ki is baar uh, ye jo pehel aap kar rahe hain, kyunki polio se to aapne mukt kar diya aapki baatein log sunte hain aur dekhte hain. Aapki awaz ke saath saath aapke jo haav bhaav hote hain, usko bhi log accept karte hain. Hepatitis se mukt karne ke liye ya is pehel se judne ke liye aap kis tarike se is baar tayar hain, sir? Jaise ki maine abhi kaha. जब इसके बारे में मुझे जानकारी हुई तो हम सब पहले हमारे जो हेल्थ मिनिस्टर हैं उनसे मिलने गए उनसे हमने कहा कि इसमें अगर सरकार ध्यान नहीं देगी तो हम लोग अकेले कितना भी काम कर लें इससे हमको मुक्ति नहीं मिलने वाली है सरकार अपने जो स्वास्थ्य कार्यक्रम है उसमें हेपेटाइटिस को भी एक प्राथमिकता दें बहुत सी चीज़ों पर प्राथमिकता देती है सरकार कुछ हमको लगा कि अगर इसको इंडिविजुअली अलग से कुछ प्राथमिकता दे सकें तो शायद इसका महत्व और बढ़ जाएगा वो कोशिश अभी भी जारी है हालांकि जो एक जनरल इनाकुलेशन होता है उसमें हेपेटाइटिस को भी डाला गया है और उनकी जो एक स्कीम है इंद्रधनुष जिसको कहते हैं उसमें एक जनरल इनाकुलेशन होता है लेकिन हम चाह रहे थे कि अगर उसको एक अलग से एक स्थान दे दिया जाए तो एक बहुत ही कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड वे में हम हेपेटाइटिस की तरफ दे सकें उसके बाद मैंने जो हेपेटाइटिस से जुड़े हुए लोग थे उनसे मैंने आग्रह किया कि अगर मेरा चेहरा और मेरी आवाज़ लोगों तक पहुंच सकती है और मेरी वो बात सुनने के लिए तैयार हैं तो हम इसमें कुछ वीडियोस बनाएंगे उन वीडियोस को हमने बनाया और उनका प्रचार भी हुआ है और हो रहा है आगे भी जब कभी भी आ, इस तरह का एक समाचार या या एक कोई मैसेज भेजना होगा या सूचना देनी होगी तो मैं अवश्य तैयार हूं और जैसा कि मैंने अभी कहा कि अगर हम सब जगह नहीं जा पाएंगे और ये सच्चाई है इसको अभी से बोल देना चाहिए लेकिन अगर कोई ऐसी अवस्था हो जहां पर जैसे कि मैंने कहा जो वर्कर है वो बहुत बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण इंसान होता है वो जाता है घर घर वो बताता है वो शिक्षित करता है इन लोगों को कि देखिए ये दवा ले लीजिए अपना ब्लड टेस्ट करवा लीजिए आपको हेपेटाइटिस है इससे आपको ये हो सकता है आज मेरी जो स्थिति है उसको कहा जाता है सिरोसिस ऑफ द लिवर आमतौर पर सिरोसिस ऑफ द लिवर उनको कहा जाता है जो जो शराब से अपना संबंध रखते हैं लेकिन मैं तो शराब पीता नहीं हूँ लेकिन आज जो मेरी स्थिति है वो है सिरोसिस ऑफ द लिवर ये नाम सुनते ही कहीं ना कहीं लोगों में आता है ये तो ये तो बेड़ा होगा बहुत बड़ा लेकिन वो नाम से ही देखिए मुझे भय है क्यों इस स्थिति में इंसान आए और उसको रोकने के लिए जो भी हम कार्यक्रम बनाएंगे उसके साथ हम जुड़ेंगे अगर ऐसी कोई स्थिति है जैसे कि मैंने कहा डॉक्टर सिंह से एंड टू द वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पीपल अगर ऐसे वर्कर्स की एक मीटिंग की जाए जब पोलियो की हमारे मुक्ति की बात हुई थी तो उस समय जितने अधिकारी गण थे वो तो आए लेकिन मैंने उनसे कहा कि जितने वर्कर्स हैं उनको बुलाया जाए इंदिरा गांधी स्टेडियम दिल्ली में हमने बुलाया उनको दस हजार वर्कर्स आए और उनकी हमने सराहना की उनको पुरस्कार दिया क्योंकि उन्हीं की वजह से ये काम हो सका तो मैं चाहूंगा एक बार फिर कि वो अगर एक छोटा सा झुंड भी अगर आ जाए और अगर हम उनसे मिल करके उनके साथ सेल्फी खिंचवा लें आजकल यही होता है जहां भी जाए सब लोग कहते हैं सेल्फी खिंचवा लीजिए अगर सेल्फी खिंचवाने से वो काम हमारा कर देंगे तो मैं सैकड़ों सेल्फी खिंचवाने के लिए तैयार हूं सॉरी दिस इज वृशाली पुरंदरे फ्रॉम एशियन एज माई क्वेश्चन इज डू यू थिंक गवर्नमेंट शुड टेक अ कॉग्निशंस ऑन दिस when it is a need of our to spread awareness on the hepatitis the way it should be done do you think government is failing to in doing that no i i am not saying that at all uh, you just heard the the minister of health uh, make a very passionate uh, appeal towards everybody the government is aware they are already doing a lot we wanted to 
give it a specific attention, much like the attention that was given to polio. Right now, hepatitis is coming under an umbrella, which is called the Indradhanush, where we talk about many other diseases and inoculations to be given at birth to a child. And hepatitis B is also included in that. But other than the importance of inoculation at the time of birth, we also feel that there are many victims who are unaware of the disease and have suffered, and uh, I just spoke about it myself, and are unaware of the disease. We want that kind of attention to be focused by the government. And they are doing it. I mean, uh, we have had several meetings with the minister. They're very committed, and we are pursuing them. And we're very grateful to the government of India for taking interest in this campaign. Uh, Amitabh ji, I'm uh, uh, Ranjit Singh, uh, ANI News Agency. Se uh, ji dono se jana Main ki, is there any goal set as far as the time concern, uh, deadline is concerned, kitne saal mein eradicate karna chahenge ya koi proposed plan hai iske liye hamari demography aur uh, hepatitis ki severity ko dekhte hue hamari country mein? Bimar jab koi hota hai, to hum ye nahi dekhte hain ki kitne din bimar rahega aur kitne din tak bimari chalegi. Isko bandhit mat kijiye. Hume kaam karte rehna chahiye. आज हम कह सकते हैं कि हाँ भारत जो है वो पोलियो मुक्त है लेकिन इसका ये मतलब नहीं कि अब हम काम बंद कर दें अगर आप कहेंगे कि इसको हम समय बताइए कि इतने समय में क्या गोल है आपका तो एक तौर से आपको बता देंगे साहब पाँच साल में हो जाएगा पाँच साल में ना हुआ तो तो फिर हमारी आप निंदा करेंगे कि आपने तो कहा था पाँच साल में हो जाएगा नहीं हुआ इसलिए उसका कोई गोल मत सेट कीजिए हमें निरंतर प्रयास करते रहना चाहिए आज अगर भारत पोलियो मुक्त है तो हमें ये भी डर है कि जो अन्य देश है हमारे जैसे पाकिस्तान है नेपाल है बांग्लादेश है श्रीलंका है वहाँ से भी इन्फिल्ट्रेशन होता है वायरस का तो हो सकता है कि वापस जो है वो पोलियो वायरस भारत में आ जाए तो निरंतर हमको काम करते रहना पड़ेगा हम एक बार हम ये निर्धारित कर दें कि साहब हम चार साल या पाँच साल के अंदर हेपेटाइटिस बी को मुक्त कर देंगे भारत हो जाए तो अच्छा है लेकिन निरंतर ये प्रयास हमको करना रहे करते रहना पड़ेगा इसलिए निर्धारित हमसे मत कहिए कि निर्धारित कीजिए कितने साल में यह हो जाएगा कोई बिल्डिंग बनानी हो रियल एस्टेट की तो हम आपको बता देंगे जब दो साल में बिल्डिंग खड़ी हो जाएगी लेकिन हेपेटाइटिस भी कब निकलेगा इसके बारे में मत पूछिए सर हाय दिस इज प्रियंका फ्रॉम स्क्रोल डॉट इन हियर सो माय क्वेश्चन इज टू यू एज वेल एज मैम सॉरी जस्ट वन मिनट आपने डॉक्टर सिंह से भी पूछा था Amitji is absolutely right that you know when you are working on the elimination or eradication of a disease, it's very difficult to say when exactly that disease will be eliminated. Now, as far as the goal setting is concerned, yes, the global strategy does talk of 2030. India has not yet said that by when will it eliminate it, but India also is committed to the global strategy because when the global strategy is adopted. All countries of the region are present in the World Health Assembly. Following that, we have a regional strategy, which also talks of 2030. But as has been uh, highlighted by Amit Ji, we we can only strive towards it. We don't know really whether we'll be able to achieve it or not. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, uh, the question is: uh, There's a lot of distrust with regards to vaccine among general population, especially oral polio vaccine worked really well because. It was given orally, but people are afraid of taking injections. In the U.S., we are seeing an anti-vaccine movement already, and even in parts of India, it's growing. So, how do you plan to address this problem, and will that be a part of the hepatitis campaign? You're absolutely right. There is a lot of retaliation and uh, wanting to not take inoculation. But let me tell you that there was a lot of opposition even to the polio drops. Any kind of medical intrusion inside your system. Is always met initially with a lot of resistance, but I think that you have to persist and you have to show results. And once those results come, then there is confidence that is built in. I agree with you that inoculation uh, through injection uh, is something that is sensitive, and people are afraid uh, for many reasons, uh, not just the pain that it causes, but you know you're you're entering, you're you're causing. You don't know whether the needle is clean. Uh, whether the, the injection be, can become the cause for the hepatitis virus to come inside you. But 
I don't know if I'm right in saying this, and I'm sure that uh, Dr. Singh and, and Dr. Barbe, you would uh, perhaps be able to tell me. There are researches being conducted right now in the medical world where injectables will eventually be removed, not just for hepatitis, but for many other cases also. I, I say this because uh, uh, Dr. Barwe and me work on my body a lot because I, I suffer from many problems. And every time there is uh, a need for an injection to go in, we take, uh, we have a lot of reservation. And eventually by process of trying to take tablets, put patches, um, we are trying to overcome that moment where as a last resort, we go in for a taking an injection. I do believe that there is, uh, there is uh, some research going on where the injectable is going to be removed. I don't know whether I'm right in saying so. Perhaps the people in the medical profession would be better placed to say this. But yes, I agree that uh, we have to build that faith and tell them that you know, the results will come. And this is the process by which it is happening. In time, I hope that there will be greater development and we can get rid of this. Hi, this is Harsha Vadwani from uh, Absolute India. My question to you is, uh, sir, you've taken a very bold step in coming forward and telling people about this problem, this hepatitis, and telling about your personal life. There are many other celebrities who have faced such or different kind of problems in their health, but they never come forward. What advice or message you'd like to give to other celebrities who are facing any problems related to health? Yeah. There are two ways to look at it. One, whether you want to disclose your ailment or not. I feel that I'm not afraid to do so if it is going to be used in a cause which is going to help millions of other people. I cannot talk for other celebrities. That is their personal matter. And let me tell you that disclosure of your medical condition is contractually um, prevented in most countries in the West. If you get into a hospital in the West, the doctors are not obliged to even tell your relatives what the ailment is, what course of action is being taken. I don't know if I'm right in saying so, but this is the kind of conditioning that is there. In India, it is not so, but uh, I don't mind saying this because I feel that the best way to convey uh, uh, my voice and my, and, my, and my face in being able to admit it myself would perhaps be a little stronger. I didn't do it for polio, but I'm doing it for tuberculosis because I'm also a tuberculosis, a TB survivor, and I'm also a somewhat hepatitis survivor, so I find it a lot easier to be able to talk about the disease because I personally go through it. And I'm able to explain to the people what to expect and what to do because if I'm standing and able to answer your question, then obviously whatever has been done to me with regard to hepatitis is working. Sir, uh, good afternoon. It's Ankita from India today. Uh, apart from cirrhosis of liver, you were also facing some neck problem uh, past. So how are you feeling, first of all, now? Yeah, I'm happy to say that I'm not, no longer a pain in the neck for anyone. <laughs> Uh, along with that, sir, uh, all the best for your Sarkar 3. And uh, one more thing is that uh, a regional film like Bahubali has crossed like 1,000 crores. Yeah, man, so, just restricted to hepatitis. There are many questions, right, but we so are no short problem. on time. Thank you. Bahubali is not suffering from hepatitis <laughs> at all. There are many questions, but we are short of time. Thank you for your understanding. Dear all, it's been a wonderful privilege to have each one of you here. Thank you, Madam R.D., Mr. Bachchan. I would request all of us to remain seated as our guests on the dais leave the room. Thank you.